Hi there, my name is Tom and I am a marine biologist. I recently got to explore Indonesia, an island nation that is rich in exotic wildlife. When I went, I hadn't planned on making a video, but I found so many interesting species that I just couldn't really help myself. So, here is Indonesia, through the eyes of a marine biologist. My first dive took place at the US Liberty shipwreck. This American vessel was sunk by the Japanese in World War II and now it's become home to some rather alien looking life forms. The most bizarre animal I found here is this electric clam. It's a species I actually didn't even know existed. Despite its appearance, this animal is not actually producing electricity. Rather, it's simply reflecting light in a manner that gives it that illusion. These clownfish are there too. The largest in the group will always be the only female, and when she dies, the strongest male will take her place as this new dominant female. Close by, this mora eel is waiting in ambush. I find mora eels are scary in a really interesting way, as they actually have a second set of fang jaws deep within their throat, and they use that to drag their prey into their stomach. This colour changing octopus and poisonous livefish are also out hunting in the area. Over in open seas, I was lucky enough to find the biggest type of fish in the world. Whale sharks, a species that grows over 17 meters in length. It's hard for me to put into perspective just how large these sharks really looked. And what I find most impressive is they've gained their size from a diet entirely of microscopic plankton. Over by Komodo Island, I got to see the famous dragons, and also the surrounding lagoon. Here, the water is shallow and nutrient rich. This makes it the perfect environment for both coral and fish to thrive in. This tomato clownfish is sitting underneath a Xenia coral colony. The hands of this coral will fill to feed the water by pulsing. This helps them absorb the nutrients and also make the lagoon's water appear crystal clear. There was also plenty of turtles here. This one is a green sea turtle and it's slowly approaching the surface where it's going to get some more air. Turtles head to the lagoon when they want to rest, as the water is a lot calmer here when compared to the open ocean. Soon it was time to say goodbye to the reef, as me and my dive buddy George headed to the island of Lombok, where we embarked on some much deeper dives. Here in the deeper waters, many colours start to disappear completely. Because of the colour change, many animals also gain a new appearance. This includes the sea turtles, who look far more cryptic and camouflaged, at least when compared to the one we saw in the lagoon earlier. Finally, at the end of our trip, we found perhaps my favourite animal of them all, the manta ray.
This four meter wide ray is enjoying a clean from the other fish. They are removing its giant body of both dead scales and parasites. Perhaps what I love most about this animal is their intelligence. They have the largest brains amongst all of the fish. This means manta rays are capable of incredibly social behavior. And that's why you're about to see that even this one seems almost playful in its nature. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and if you did please subscribe to see what I might find next time.